Hello, my name is Michael Zhao and I will be doing a quick review of the stable marriage problem. The problem is generally summarized as this. You are a matchmaker for a group of people where there are n number of women and n number of men. Each man has a preference list of the n women, so an ordering of the women that they like from greatest to least. The women have a similar list for the men. What you would like to do is to pair each man up with a woman. A possible pairing in this list would be Alex, Anita, Bob, Bridget, and Charles, Christine. However, there is a catch because you want everyone on this list to be happy with the resulting partner. The problem is, can you pair everyone up so nobody can realistically cancel their relationship and find a better partner? There is an algorithm to achieve this. It is called the stable marriage algorithm. It goes like this. Every morning, each man proposes to the most preferred woman on his list who has not yet rejected him. Every afternoon, each woman collects all the proposals she received in the morning. To the man she likes best, she responds, Maybe, come back tomorrow. She has now has him on a string. And to the others, she says, never. Every evening, each rejected man crosses off the woman who rejected him from his list. With the stable marriage algorithm in mind, let's look at this example. We have the males Xavier, Yancy, and Zeus, and females Amy, Bertha, and Claire. With the stable marriage algorithm running our day one, morning will be Xavier proposing to Amy, Yancy proposing to Bertha, and Zeus proposing to Amy. In the afternoon, Amy, with two proposals, will reject the one she likes less, Zeus. Bertha will keep her proposal on the string. At night, Zeus will remove Amy from his list. Speeding this up, we can see what happens over the course of the next few days. At the end, we have a resulting stable pairing. Note that even though Zeus and Claire both prefer each other the least, the other four people have found better partners than those two, so they, can, they have to be together. And finally, a stable marriage algorithm will come to a halt and terminate with a stable pairing. There are some helpful properties of the stable marriage algorithm which are proved in the lecture notes, such as the stable marriage algorithm always halts, and it always outputs a stable pairing. A pairing is unstable or rogue if there are a man and a woman who prefer each other to their current partners. Optimality is when one person is paired up with their most favorite person that is still within a stable pairing range. Pessimal is a reverse, where it is their least favorite person, but a stable pairing still exists for the pairing. Stable pairing is used more than just computer science, and the most well-known application of it is the National Resident Matching Program, which pairs medical school graduates with residency internship slots at teaching hospitals. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my review of the stable marriage problem, and good luck for studying for the final. Stable pairings do not always exist. A false reasoning to prove this is we can start with any rogue couple and modify the current pairing so they are together, then repeat. To illustrate the fallacy of this reasoning, we have a related scenario known as a roommate's problem. We have two in people to pair up. In this case, because of the no gender discrepancy, each person can be paired with any of the other two in minus one people. In our case, we have Adam, Bob, Chris, and Doofus. As you can see, nobody likes Doofus. Therefore, whenever Doofus is paired up with someone, the, that person will likely try to get out of their current pairing and go rogue with someone else. Therefore, this entire scenario is unstable.